Hey everybody, I'm doing good today. I enjoyed making my resin bowl and coasters recently and I've had this uh, project envisioned in my mind for a while. I wanted to attempt. I don't know if it'll work. I'm kind of basing it off this candle, the color scheme here. I love those colors together. It's in my bedroom and um, so I'm just going to aim for the general color range of that. So I've got a rectangle silicone mat here. I'm going to move it aside while I mix colors. So I think I want about, about three ounces of the three different colors. And I'm going to kind of just mix up colors that feel good to me. I want kind of earthy, warm tones. So we're going to kind of play it by ear. Leave this other here aside for a minute. Hopefully do this pretty quickly. Because this is what I want to focus on. Okay, so the, the aqua color, I'm going to use Mermaid, which is Petra from YouTube. She has an Etsy store that I've been sharing on my website. So this is Mermaid. I'm going to put a little scoop in. Not a lot because that's kind of deep. And this time around, I don't care even if the powders are, I mean, if the resin is a little bit see-through or, or um, opaque. Vintage Mint, this is by Color Art. I'm usually pretty good at mixing the color I want. I've been an artist for 20 years, so I kind of know what makes what. That is pretty good. I'm going to put a drop or two of Baja Blue alcohol ink. Alcohol inks have a funny smell. I'm going to do a brown. So let me start. I've actually got a mango. This is a resin dye. So let's see what this mango looks like. <laughs> I got a fingernail file here. This is not a stir stick. That's too funny. This is a comedy of errors. Okay, I'm a, that's all the mango. I want to put a little bit of Arteza chocolate brown mica powder which I've never used but chocolate brown sounds good to me I'll try a little scoop first that's chocolate brown and with the mango that's as really as deep as I want to go Okay, this one, I think I'll do a few drops of mango. I'm going to do Let's Resin White Pigment Paste. So, this would be kind of like cast and craft, I guess, you know. It's not a, it's not a uh, pearlized. It's just white pigment. I want this to be kind of creamy and opaque. That's, so that's a little yellow. Let me try... This is Coffee Let's Resin Pearlized Pigment. I'm going to put a squirt of that in. So that that knocked it down, that yellow out, and it leaves it kind of opaque, and I'm liking that right there. Perfect. So I'm trying to put aside what I use here so that I can tell you what I did use. And it helps me remember, too. And uh, that's why I put in my um, descriptions below the video, I put these things so that I'm going to put one drop of this in the pearlized 
turquoise just for the heck of it, just to see what happens. This was supposed to be the white and that was supposed to be the turquoise. Sandra, Sandra, Sandra. Okay, let me try this again here. Not white, this is clear. I want a clear in a small container. I wanted the turquoise in the bigger container. And because I had the snafu spilling my resin there, it just threw me all off whack. So here we go again. It's warm. Now we're mixing that into the resin that I had. It has a little bit of that coffee. I want to add, where is it? Petra Sparkle Light, just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Oh yeah, that gave it just a hint of a sparkle, which is what I like. Okay, so now, oh, I had, I have some of this. Maybe I'll put a little clear into this, what was my turquoise here. I want to try this as a Lara's Art Corner. It is pure gold, which is a darker, bronzier gold than the pale gold that I typically have used. I wanted to be able to just bring a little bit of pure gold to the table. This, hurt, this is really strong stuff, so like I didn't need but a pinch of it. Get this out because it's probably thickening up. I don't know why this set up so quickly. Okay, since this is good for right this minute, I'm going to switch over to my leftover resin. Still okay. I've got some I'm Too Fancy Pink from Lara's Art Corner. I'm going to put some of that in there. That looks so pretty. Ooh, sparkle, sparkle. Ooh, pretty. Put a a little bit of magenta 
And uh, what do I want to add to it? I've got a peacock mold. I'm going to stick this in. I have some really, really big crystals here. These came from Laura's Art Corner. I also have some citrine, citrine chips, so they're kind of neutral. Hopefully this will work. <laughs> Since uh, I kind of had all kinds of snafus going on here. This is what resin looks like when it's gone too far. Um, just wanted to show you. I'm going to try to scrape most of this out of my cup and then put it upside down and let it just harden that way. This pink is already almost solid. It heated up so much that it's really, really thick and heavy. I like to turn my cups over and let them drain down. I'm going to wait about three hours for this because it sets up quick and then I'm going to do more. Hopefully it will be kind of a surprise. You. I'm just gonna make sure my little crystals are all pushed down in there somewhat. I like the mixture of the colors. Look at that. Pretty good. <laughs> Another thing you can do is spray some alcohol. That helps. It helps with the baby wipes, it helps with cleanup, it helps with bubbles, so it's just good in general to have around. All right, I can't wait to uh, do more when it's time. So looking in the camera and looking down, this is a little bit more aqua in real life. It's a little bit more green on the camera. Just making note of that. There's what I could not use because it it's already stuck and hard. You can't you can't even use it. I'll be back. So it's been about four hours and I have one peacock that is a you know, kind of raspberry glittery color so, and these are still a bit on the flexible side it didn't close at the top there so I'll have to figure something out on that but so there's those I'll put those aside to fully cure and this is going to be the tricky one. So this is what I want to do. I want to curve it. And be able to put a candle, LED light, something like that inside of it.
Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day. Drum roll. Got to hold off one second on that one. I wanted to show you these plastic beakers that I get, how when you um, put them upside down and they dry, they come out almost in a formed cup, just like this. And I um, wanted to show you, you just squeeze the plastic beaker and it kind of breaks that seal and then you just yank it out. Sometimes, you know, like there's some left in the bottom and it's dry and you can leave it or you can, you know, scrape it with something sharp to get it started to raise it off. And, yeah, you know, I had I demolded the peacock coaster and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in a minute. But here is this. And so I just used a glass of, I mean, a container of crushed glass for my shape. And I had to use the rubber mold because I needed a straight edge. So that's why I did that. So the plastic was just to protect the outside of my resin from fingerprints and it gives it a little bit of a textured pattern. So let's get this out of the mold. Lucky, luckily I didn't mess up my mold. So here's the bottom. It sits by itself. Now I would have loved the top to have been kind of freestyle, but you know with it being in a rectangular mold you really can't do anything about that. But um, I've got a few pieces I've just got to trim away. You can basically just take a straight edge razor and do that. And it, you know, it has a little flexibility but not much because this is counterculture and it sets up immediately. So let me zoom out just a bit. Okay. So this, this is like an LED light. I can totally drop that down. Turn off the lights. Let's see what it looks like. It shows through. I'll have to show it in a regular setting, not from above. Um, you could even put, uh, if you have a small light, uh, you know, that maybe has like one of those little uh, nightlight bulbs or, or, you know, like a little tiny, a small light that's, you know, this tall. You could put that in and room for the cord to come out if it's electric. This is heat resistant to 500 degrees with counterculture. So I am really, really pleased with it. Now I'm wondering, okay, I put a gold edge on the top, so... Um, the, these large champagne acrylic chunks from Lara's Art Corner worked fantastic for giving it something to stand on besides the, um, the edge of the mold and when I curved the mold it kind of slanted in a bit, so I'm glad that I've used something large along the bottom, which makes it sturdy no matter what. And um, I could probably heat this and make it kind of cattywampus and all that, but I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I'm really pleased with it. I love the look of it. 
and I sanded some of the rough edges and just used my gold pen at the top getting some of the dust off that I had sanded. I'm really super pleased. So here's here's the inspiration piece and here's the resin. So I'm really really pleased. And it could have been like super shiny smooth but when I put the saran wrap on it that gives it the texture which actually I like that look of the texture being added to it. So I will show you a video at the end and pictures of it finished so stay tuned for that. And then <clears throat> with this peacock see the peacock that's etched in that's from the mold itself so I didn't do any of that. I will use Deco Art 24 karat gold and I will scrub it on with a brush. I, if you look at any of my other peacock tutorials it'll show you in those and same with the uh, the faith pendant I can do the same thing on that and I've got you know a few pop sockets here uh, covers or I can make a magnets and I'll probably take like the gold pen and these pens are so fabulous this is Krylon This was the resin that was setting up so quickly, so it's um, it didn't lay perfectly in the mold, but it still formed. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and that you will come back and watch the next video. Please subscribe to my channel. Help support uh, just by following and liking and commenting. That always uh, just helps my channel. And uh, I look forward to making new and beautiful projects for you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.